the film had left me speechless. I was blown away, as was Stephen, as was Jonathan, by the power of the emotion in the film, all of which was absolutely genuine. Well, definitely our meeting, that was perhaps one of the most important moments in my life, the diagnosis of Stephen's illness. I was not actually there at the time, but I had a strong visual image of how it must have been. And I think that comes across in the film very powerfully. And then of course our wedding and the shots of Felicity and Eddie looking just like Stephen and me. It's just how it was all those years ago. I first saw Eddie playing Stephen, not in the film, but while the filming was taking place in Cambridge. I saw a character coming towards me and I thought, heavens, that's Stephen. But Stephen as he was. And then it transpired that this wasn't Stephen, it was Eddie. I went up to him and I said, look, Eddie, if you're going to play Stephen, you're much too tidy. So I ruffled his hair for him, which was a nice introduction. Stephen invited me to go to a May Ball in Cambridge. And in the film, it's a pretty near perfect recreation. And then when we got back, my mother said, you're not going to let that young man go without asking him in for a cup of tea, are you? So I did, and he came in and had tea, and it all developed from there. What impressed me most was the way that she'd captured me. I almost thought she'd stolen my personality, because <laughs> it was so minute. I recognized her to be so much like me. It was a beautifully played part. <laughs>